it has always been like a direct thing for me because I just didn't want, if I say Chris, I feel like people might mistake me for Chris Brown. Okay. <laughs> you understand? So it was just a, it was just a vibe thing just to change the last S to um, a Z and the C, the CH to okay. actually put it to K. So people will say Chris, just the way we pronounce it. I always want to make music that not just the people in my um, surroundings, not just the people in my country can feel it. I want the, of course, music is a universal language and I've always wanted it to, you know, be able to relate to people, maybe in Uganda, let them relate Tanzania, let them relate to it without having to understand anything I'm saying. So I just thank God that we been able to do you know, so far. My production has always been to mix, you know, electronic dance music and African's Afrobeat, you know. So electronic dance music gave birth to most of all this other, this thing, you know. Mixing those elements, because what I studied is audio technology and my major was electronic dance music. Do you understand? And you can't come to Nigeria and be doing EDM. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. That's true. You get, so <laughs> I needed to look for a balance, you know, to like make things work the way. So I'm grateful to God that so far I've been able to do it and I've been able to like create that sound that we call ADM today where people say, oh, I'm doing ADM remix, ADM this, ADM that. Anywhere that you do it in this world is mine. If not music, I would uh, be a professor. I would probably, you know, teach <laughs> linguistics somewhere. <laughs> the first work ever that me and Tech did was Pana. We didn't have to, I mean, we send, we send beats back and forth, you know, we go back and forth with uh, stuff. Do you understand? But the first beat, that, the first song that we ever recorded together was Pana. But before then, I had done some stuff with um, Reminis, Angelina by Reminis, and I did um, Oambe by Jabless. You oh, know, so yeah. I'm sure people don't know that. Uh, yeah, I, let's hope they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so after that, it's just, you know, um, I linked up with Tech. He sent me a DM on Instagram and then we just linked up and then we made Pana. Then it became a smash. And the second song we made was Diana. Diana. So. Also, also a smash. <laughs> yeah, also a smash. <laughs> <laughs> As a music producer, you don't want to make music the way the artists do. You know, your music should speak some, you know, volume. People should feel like, ah, are you trying to, is this science? Do you understand? <laughs> so that's how I feel like we should make our music. We should not say, okay, I mean, there's a time where we do the music for, oh, let people enjoy. But there's a, another time that we need to do the music for the sake of, oh, music is this, but it can be done like this. So definitely, definitely, the acceptance has been crazy. You know, acceptance is mad. 
is massive. Still, like, the number is still going crazy on Spotify and everywhere. So, it's sweet, you get, but it can be sweeter. Yeah. Definitely. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's sweet, but it can be sweeter. So, experimenting with music has always been, is a thing that music producers should still do to you tomorrow. Because people are looking at you to create new sounds. So, you should always, you know, bring something new. Take Akbala and mix it with this thing and create something massive. Maybe two. To sound better if double speed. <laughs> yeah. Everything that you do has to do with where you are at the moment. There's a time where you control what you want the audience to listen to. And there's a time where you watch what the audience wants to listen to. For instance, Ama Piano started raining and the whole world started doing Ama Piano. There's a way to do the Ama Piano that it doesn't sound like everybody's ama piano. Do you understand? So you know that, okay, the DJs, for instance, they want to play ama piano. Once I'm playing an ama piano mix, I don't want to now go to another, do you understand? Because it's stressful. You get, I mean, a lot of people do it that they they can migrate from this thing to another one and it's still seamless. Do you understand? But most times people, they don't want to stress. So that's why they say, oh, why not do this type of sound for this type of, yes. you know? But the major thing is you are the God of your craft. You shouldn't say, oh, this is what the people, God did not ask us now that how did we want our face to be? He just gave me this fine face. He did not <laughs> ask me if I, if I want, if I wanted an ugly face or if my nose, I want it smaller than this. Do you understand? So... That's exactly how music is, you know, understanding that if I do this thing, if it's good, people will accept it. Last, last now, this life, no balance. <laughs> you get, it's not, it's not about, oh, the relationship is towards one side and the other, but it should be because it's like a marriage between a producer and the artist. It's like, it's like a marriage. The producer is the wife. The artist is the it's husband. The husband. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you understand? The producer is the wife. The artist is the husband. A, a good wife knows her place. Do you understand? You are there to what? Support your husband. I know all these feminist people will come and slap me. And say, what God are you saying? But the fact remains, a woman is supposed to support her husband regardless. But holding your side tight. I know it's not the same thing. You can't really like put it together, but in a way I'm explaining it, you can get what I'm trying to say. You have to hold your side tight. You are married to someone that you did not go to court to sign this thing with. How? Do you understand? So if the person wakes up tomorrow and says, okay, I'm leaving this, this thing, it means you have nothing. So you should hold your side tight for the fact that oh, well, we have a good relationship. I know some good artists, like some Amazing people that you guys have a good relationship and then you're publishing everything that has to do with your music is tight. So you are not doing anything out of that you don't want to do. You know what I mean? Like you're not doing anything because they are forcing you to do it. So you have a good relationship with someone, but protect yourself. Ensure that you are fine regardless of whatever thing. So yeah. If you know me and my project, I like working with people. 
um, outside, uh, to mix cultures. But right now, I want to do something that I've not done before, and I hope it works. And so I'm working with the new guys in Nigeria right now, the raw, talented guys, like the core. I don't care about what number the person is doing on anywhere. I just want to make good music with, the, with those people. You know, so I just did one with uh, Victoria and Starboy Terry. And like the love and everything I've gotten from the song so far, I, uh, all those my other things <laughs> that feeling somehow now is more, you know, like it's more because I know it's real. I opened TikTok because I wanted people to see me as I started posting beats alone on TikTok, you know, because I wanted that. Oh, you don't know me from anywhere, but you can feel my work. And I got that. Like I opened, I opened the TikTok about three, four weeks ago, and I got like good. Things that, ah, who is this guy? I pray this guy blows. I'm like, ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Do you understand? So those type of comments, they mean so much to me that, oh, it means all those people that are saying, ah, Chris Beats, are feeling you. They are not doing it because they feel, okay, you are, you get, you don't blow now. So we know, we know you are good. So all those people that don't know me, they are doing it because they genuinely feel like this guy is talented. So that thing, it's amazing for me. So I'm working on a project uh, with the new artist. I have a lot of things coming, but right now we just released Time and Place featuring Victoria and Starboy Terry, and the video is out. <laughs> My mom gave me um, 8,000 naira to go and register for something, something in school. So that was the first money I used to buy like a gear, like PC, a Dell, you know, now all those old yeah, ones, so all those tower. Yeah, tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was the first thing I uh, got and started learning to make music from there. Then she saw that this, I really liked this. Then she's suggested that's okay why don't you finish your school so if you're watching this and you're finding it difficult to like go through school just calm down go through school and do music it's not running away do you understand you can still be doing music while even in school because i was doing that that i had the biggest song in my school and it was like yo this is crazy so and it made me money do you understand it made me money there you get so I got that uh, laptop, then I got a mixer, cause then, you know, all the studios that we go to had mixers. I got a mixer, I got a uh, Beringa, that 32 channel. Yeah, so it was, it was a Beringa I got that time and I got it for how much? Uh, 17,000, cause it was from a church. I had to pay twice, cause I couldn't afford to pay once. So, and after that, I started telling people that I had a studio, even though I didn't have a studio. <laughs> you get what? Funny story, a guy came to look for me one day. That, ah, your I'm, I'm around your house, so I'm coming to your studio. Oh, more, I ran. <laughs> Yo, I ran. Like, because I didn't have a studio. I just had a mixer and a PC. And I, I was telling people that, oh, my studio in my house will come. Come, let's vibe. I will be the one to go and tell the person, bro, what are you doing? You're not serious with music. Come, let's vibe now. <laughs> you get to. But because of that, I was able to like run and fix things that, you know, it's not good to lie, but sometimes you don't know. It's, it just moves you to the place where you need to get things done because you want to meet up. You know, so I had to fix things. Then well, the guy came, paid me money. We walked and I bought some other stuff. So for me, it has always been about gear. You know, I if I feel uninspired, I just go and buy a new gear. new gear just to work with. And before you know, to, if I feel uninspired, I change my studio, maybe the look. So something I just want to keep it exciting to me. I want to always come and feel like, okay, ah, sisters. 
see the cloud. Okay, this can see the cloud now. So <laughs> see the cloud. <laughs> Do you understand? So that's always been like that for me. So up till now, I'm still getting gears. You know. So next time we'll have an interview, we'll probably be in another studio that is like I like big studios. So yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So sorry, I wanna add a question. Yeah. So does that mean faking it to make it? Is oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> don't fake it till you make it to be honest if you say you want to fake it till you make it it might be too tough for you because you might be doing things at the rates to which god has not placed you too expensive to cope I mean, do you understand it might be too expensive to cope you get now i know <laughs> <laughs> now i don't try to i don't try to live up to i live up to my expectation i do things my way if it's good for me, then it's fine. You get. If if I can't, I'm not. I'm not one of those people that come out and say I, I want to do something, and then I know I'm not. I can't afford it. If I can't buy it twice, I'm not doing it. You get. I need to be able to pay for it two times before I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> If you say sing for you, I go do for settle. Oh no, I know they sing like a major sing. I know say my love if I sing to I know I ask if I know by it, but I do but I say I make beats and I write songs. I do things on all night long and I don't smoke, I don't smoke weed, but I do things that you can see. Say many things no see, many people know. I go there for anybody you wait there for me. <laughs> Music in me, music inside you. When I see you, I don't sight you. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> 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 <laughs>